Did I come in at the wrong time then? <laughs> Was I a bit quick? Should I go out and come again? No? Okay. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Yes, we're here on my YouTube. It's Monday. Way day was yesterday. So today I am doing an eating one. I am because I've decided I'm not doing no eating ones, no Coca-Cola ones on way day. No, not happening. Not happening at all. So I've still got a box full of American candy that my lovely American friend sent me. So, swap side, Mr. Producer. I need to push it down for this. So, let's move the bed a bit. My um, colouring seems to be taking over down there. It does. Oh, my feet are cold. I'm going to warm my feet up. So, yeah. My lovely friend sent me huge bag of American candy. I've still got loads of it left. I really do. I've still got to try a peep. I don't know what a peep is. Right. m and caramel. We have a hundred grand. <laughs> yes, please. I'll have a hundred grand. That'd be nice. A musketeer. A mallow cup. A york. Okay, I'm getting a headache just looking at all this chocolate. These tablets, I'm sure, are making me, whenever I have something wrong to eat, they make me feel really sick. That's good, isn't it? But even just looking at this chocolate, my head's going, no, 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 don't do it. But, but we're going to do it. It's a video. We'll do it. So I've got lots and lots of Russell Stover ones. That's the one I had before. And I've got some cream eggs. That's it. Move the box out of the way. So tomorrow... I'm going to do some baking, I'm going to do some cookies and I'm going to use the m, &M caramel to try them because the recipe's on the back <laughs> so I'm using their recipe because normally I'm not very good at cookies so yeah, it says it takes 10 to 15 minutes to prep bake time is 8 to 10 minutes or 12 to 14 why is there a difference in baking time? okay but yeah, I've got all this in stock so I'm going to but I might have to use my Alexa to find out how much one cup is in ounces. That's the only difference. So tomorrow I may be asking Alexa on video. I won't be going live doing it. I will be doing it on video so you'll probably see it tomorrow night. But yeah, I'm going to try a couple of those tonight and then they're ready for tomorrow. Now my lovely friend said to try a musketeer next. Okay, so we're going to move these out of the way. I've got, I think we should just do a video of all the Russell stoves, one video, <laughs> testing them out. Or well, we could do a blind taste on them like I did the Coca-Cola. <laughs> that one's a bit flat now, that York is. And then we've got the cabbage cream eggs again, could do one video for them. But yeah, we're going to do the musketeer tonight and the M&M caramel. So I'm going to make sure I nearly ripped it on the recipe side. I nearly ripped it on the recipe side. That, that would have been a catastrophe. So yes. I, I should really read about it, shouldn't I? The date's better on American candy than what it is English candy. Just notice that straight away. Them toffee fees and things and dairy milks finished in July, didn't they? These last all the way around to December. So yes. So it's got 200 calories, 8 grams of fat, 5 grams of saturated fats, 28 grams of sugar, and 65 milligrams of sodium in the whole packet. It's not bad, 200 calories for the whole packet, is it? So it's M &M, my M&M's brand, chocolate candies. Personalise your M&M's. Ooh. Can you get your own name put on M&M's, can you? Because there's a myMMs.com. Ooh, we might have to have a look into that and get an A on it. Ooh, I don't think you can get the whole name on one M&M &M, somehow. Oh, you've got to spell it. <laughs> Mr. Producer's like, we can put A on one M&M, &M, a D on the next one, an E on the next one, an L on the next one, and so forth. Wow, they're strong. They are really strong. The smell. Aren't they strong? I didn't know they were that strong, m and &M. We don't have caramel ones in this country. They're not the same as a normal m and m though. I'm just be a bit more careful because with them being caramel, I don't want them to. Well, it's not gonna. 
popping my finger in. I just I don't know why I expected to just hold it and it go. Don't know why. So I had caramel M&M. Ooh, top caramel. I don't know why. I expected runny caramel. Mm. So it says for the recipe, I've only got to use one and three quarters of a cup. <laughs> One or three coppers for the cookies and a cup for me. Yeah, I can see that happening to us. I like them. Mmm. I like them. I like them a lot. Send more, please. <laughs> You've got milk chocolate, sugar chocolate, cocoa butter, skim milk, milk fat, soy lectin. Oh my god. It's got a lot of hydrogens in it and palm kernel oils and yeah. Allergy information contains milk, so it may contain peanuts. Because it's made on the same conveyor belts. M&M factories have peanut M&Ms. You know? I'm going to try one because I, I do want to save them for my cookies tomorrow. So we're going to pop them there now. But I know I like them. <laughs> Yay, we like them. Next. Musketeer. Now to me... That feels like a Mars bar. And there's two. So you can have one, Mr. Producer. Look, it's a double pack. Yes. But it says three. So I don't know where the third one is. Three Musketeers. Or is that the name? Oh, yeah. Two bars. So that's the name. Three Musketeers. <laughs> I don't know these things. I like the writing on this. You're sweeter than a basket full of puppies. I think that's lovely. I really do. Look. No English candy would say that. That is awesome. Ah, do you know something? I've just noticed something on the back. It says here, Mars Real Chocolate. So they are Mars bars. But the American version is called Three Musketeers. I don't want to open it. I'm still busy reading it. Whipped up fluffy chocolate on chocolate taste. Ooh. 45% less fat than average of the leading chocolate brands. Definitely not a Mars bar. <laughs> Save one for later. Twist to close. Ooh, so you take one out, you twist it, and it saves nice and fresh for me tomorrow. <laughs> right. Six grams fat per 47 grams of serving. Ooh, versus 12 grams of average for leading chocolate brands. Nutrition facts. Serve size, one bar, it's 47 grams, so there's six grams of fat in each bar. Servings two, amount per servings, 200 calories for both. Fat calculation is 60. Total fat is six grams. Yeah, there's vitamin A in it though, and protein. And vitamin C. Cool. I get my daily dose. Oh, and iron. You never know what's in these. It does say allergy information contains milk, egg, and soy. It may contain peanuts. So they make Snickers as well, then. Don't they? Snickers has got peanuts. Is it the same company? Do you think? I don't know. It's weird, though. If it's the same company, why do they just call them Mars bars? Or I have to call them Musketeers? Hold no. on. Shall we open one? Snip test. Don't like the smell. Smells like dark chocolate. Ooh, that smells really dark chocolate. I got one out. Twist to save for later. And it's untwisting. It's literally untwisting. Huh? Oh, it says just to twist. The other way. Why the other way? What's it? You're just winding me up. Okay. You're not saying a word. Right, so we have a uh, musketeer. Looks a bit like a Mars bar. The top's different. A Mars bar has one, two, three, four indents of chocolate, whereas this just has a continuous wave. Yes. It smells like dark chocolate. If I should read the ingredients. Americans like the dark chocolate, don't they? No, it says milk chocolate. And yet you smell that, it smells like dark chocolate. 
Pardon? Richer. Could be. But the richer the chocolate, the darker it is. That's the difference between milk and dark chocolate, you know. Alright, so we're going to break into it. Oh, it's not breaking in half, it's coming off. Oh, it's not a Mars bar. That's completely different. A Mars bar has caramel inside, as well as the nougat filling. I'm going to smell it, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm getting chocolate on the bed. <laughs> Have one. Right, so we'll try the chocolate on its own first, maybe. That's dark chocolate. I'm trying to break you a bit off so you can see what I mean. There you go. Try that bit. That is dark chocolate. Is that dark chocolate or is that not dark chocolate? You just made a lot of noise. <laughs> He's a really noisy eater. <laughs> a whole lot. Uh, we'll try the new gate. Is it new gate? This? That tastes quite nice. Not keen on the chocolate. I like the filling. Was that a plus? Keep me on all over the bag. Tastes a bit like a Milky Way. You know, because of the filling. That's why it's less fat. Because of the filling. And what is the less, least amount of calories in this country? A Milky Way. Because of the filling. You get like this amount of chocolate on the outside it's like a milky way isn't it so I, I like to do these compare like this as in trying to figure out what it would be like in english but this is still dark chocolate and yeah it says milk chocolate i don't like chocolate that's rich i like milk and chocolate but you can't really taste the chocolate when you're eating it with the inside because there's more filling to chocolate ratio <laughs> But yeah, that's definitely, that is a Milky Way, isn't it? Yeah? Oh, man. I'm going to let you finish the rest right off. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not sure if the chocolate's put me off. I'm really funny, aren't I? I didn't realise all this fussy with chocolate. <laughs> you didn't. It's quite weird how... The different countries do it differently isn't it it's a chocolate factory you'd think it'd be the same all over the world but it's not it's completely different obviously well i'm hoping cadbury's one is going to be the same i'm hoping and to be honest that's the only one apart from the cream egg which is still smaller than ours they they all are different aren't they That one's pure dark chocolate with mint inside. So yeah, that one's going to be interesting. That's marshmallows inside. But anyway, so I've tried now my lovely musketeers and my M&M caramels that I'm going to be baking into cookies tomorrow. Yes, I still have all this lovely chocolate here to get started on. And my peeps, I'm going to do an experiment. I've been told that if you put them in the microwave, they grow. So yes, I will be doing those another day. They may be my next one with the marshmallow cup because they're both marshmallows. So we might do a joining one. I'm not doing it now, no. Too much sugar this late at night. So yeah, they might be next Mondays. <laughs> what date's on them? I don't think it's by next Monday. The pure sugar. Yeah, April next year. <laughs> It's pure sugar, so they're going to last a long time then. But yes, I can't thank my American friend enough. I think he's amazing to have done this for me. I really do, so I can do these videos to share you all. But yeah, for now, like the video for me. Don't forget, I'm now on Patreon as well. So come along and become a patron. Get all different videos that are only for patrons. So come and check me out. I'm a dollar a month <laughs> for a pledge. 
Yes, if you want to pledge more, you can, but a dollar a month is fine by me. That's why I've kept it at that level. But yes, thank you for following me on whatever way you follow me, be it Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Patreon, wherever you follow me. Thank you very much for being an amazing follower. But like this video for me, down here, there's a love heart. Subscribe to my lovely channel. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon, at UK. And that's it for now. It is. For now, there's another one to come yet. So get ready for that one. See you soon, everyone.